Today we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of the Miele W562 Prestige Plus 6 washing machine. She's been 10 years in our collection. So, thank you very much for watching and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, the channel for vintage washing machines, appliance reviews, demonstrations and tutorials, 1960s and 80s music and the Hoover A3060 Electronic 1100. <laughs> Yes, you heard that right from the intro, guys. Um, originally, this was meant to be done last week, but it was on the day we were at the washing. 27th of January 2019 has marked 10 years that this Miele W562 has been uh, part of our household. We brought her in 2009 from Curry's, and she's given us 10 years of sterling service, and the only fault being a replacement heating element. And that was due to limescale eroding her, uh, which obviously can't be helped from London. Apart from that, she's been absolutely amazing. I did an appreciation post on my Facebook and my Instagram of her. And, I mean, she's put up with ten years of ten years of hard work and ten years of abuse. I'll say as well, you know, because we we have pushed her a few times, but this machine has never failed to give us the service we we've always wanted. Now I chose. My mum was originally going to go for an LG Direct Drive. Uh, it was the F1496 AD5 washer dryer. It won't be tested at BHF, but uh, the white version. But I told them to go for a Miele. Of course, many of you know my taste in Miele. She's not at all the, the model that I really wanted for Miele. I wanted the Navitronic uh, W2888WPS or the uh, Miele Distinction 3000, which is the one that uh, Spencer is filming, Washer Lab 2014, he does on his Throwback Thursdays, which I believe was the Comet exclusive model, I'm not too sure. But uh, she's a 1300 spin, 6 kilogram load, that's why she's Prestige Plus 6. The W524, the model below, which was the Prestige Plus, we had that at British Heart Foundation, was the 5 kilogram model. So this is when Miele, um up to their capacity. She's only a 1300 spin, I at least wanted a 1400 model uh, and of course most recognisable thing she lacks the famous Miele honeycomb drum but she's still a Miele at the end of the day, she's my first Miele and you know what, as hard as it, as silly as it may sound, I will never give this machine up. I, I, I actually wanted to swap her for a Miele professional one day but I thought you know what, why would I do that to my only Miele? Uh, before you ask, uh, you must have seen an intro, yes, I have been given this machine uh, to replace the A3060's tub with. It's a Hoover Electro Economizer 550 Jill Spin. Um, but actually, what we're going to be doing is, after I replace the parts, I'm going to try and mend the tub on the A3060, and I'm going to try and keep this machine. So, because the only thing wrong with this one, however, it's got a faulty capacitor, so the machine does distribution tumble all the time. It's not meant to, and it eventually smells like burning plastic. Um, but you can see the similarities between them, same cabinet and whatnot. Uh, that's got adjustable feet though, and obviously the A36's got wheels. Uh, the A36's, you might notice, there lacks her door seal. I might show that in another video. And underneath that, if no one noticed it, is the mystery machine. The new one we're going to be revealing in the next video. I could lift the blanket, but no. I will give some cryptic clues though on some posts. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. We're going to do a boil wash in the Miele with this double duvet. That's actually a thin duvet though. So, using some Supreme Sensitive and Huggy Classic Blue. And without further ado, I am going to get loading this machine. Mm. We uh, finally have finished the, uh, the monologue of videos from the washing. It's been stressful having to do all that. Look at that. That actually fitted in there perfectly without it feeling overloaded. Um, actually for this one, no. I'm beginning to sound like Service Gem now. 
Don't worry, he's he's fine with us making jokes, by the way. Yeah, we always do it. We always make these jokes about him saying actually all the time. So, I'm going to use a uh, detergent dosing ball for this one. She's put up with a lot of mini ads, but you know, she's been one of the best machines I could ever ask for. She used to be, when she was in my videos at home, <laughs> I've just got to do that. Always love that lift, the feature of lifting the... I love when that comes on, so cotton's 95, water plus, I doubt she's going to reduce the time. I would press short, but I don't know. Well, how much will short take it to? Mm, 2005, still very long. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Oh, I love that sound. Um, so I was saying, when she was at home and we filmed her, she was partly owned, she was 50-50 owned. Half owned by me, half owned by mum. Now this machine is 100% mine. And that's what I've always wanted. So I told mum I said, when we go to Australia, Mila is becoming mine. Closer for you so you can see. I would have done a deflation spin, but nah, who needs one? It's very cool here today. It's only about 28 here, so it's quite cloudy. So it's not unbearably hot in here. You might remember when we used to do the duvet at home, it was quite a struggle to get it into the machine. What's going on? What time is Mila trying to take water out? What's that? Hmm. It's strange. Unfortunately, yesterday... Where is it? She officially lost the bottom of her right foot. So I've got a little spring washer sat beneath her foot. I originally used that to le level the 9530, but I'm just hoping that'll keep her stable. She probably won't though. I don't know, she might. But yeah, that's how it goes. About 10 years of being sat on that and whatnot, being constantly, constantly moved around. That duvet shouldn't take too much though. See the detergent down there. It's getting foamy. That's because it's going directly into the water through the area. Oh, that's getting nice and sudsy. Nice one, Millie. Will you sudstock for us today, I wonder? She hasn't sudstocked yet. Probably won't get any tumbles. I'm looking at that. Oh, yes! She's done it. Hour and a half. Great. Thank you, Millie. We love you. That means she's going to do the fast spins now. That must be quite a light duvet then. Oh, we're going to get foamy, I think, with that. Mm. Well, at least she's going to get immediately up to heating then, which is good. So for something like a duvet, she'll do that, but yeah, a load of towels. Oh well, I don't question how it works. A load of suds on the rim there, look at that. That's insane. Well, that duvet needs a good wash anyway. <clears throat> Probably do another top up anyway. Alright. So we've reached 95, and look at that, we are tumbling nicely. Um, when the machine first started, she was completely full of suds. So I reckon we're going to get some nice suds locks. We're also meanwhile stripping out the A A3060 behind. You'll see we have now got the tub out of the machine. That's the condition of that tub. So I can get that out. It's disconnecting the motor from the machine now. Yeah, look at that. She'll soon go on to the shuttle rinse. 
<coughs> and then we're looking forward to the spins. Probably got about 20 minutes to go. It's a nice slow 40 RPM tumbles. She keeps topping up a lot. I you think she's losing water somewhere. Unless it's the duvet still taking up. Ooh, I just pressed something on the history machine. <laughs> These are duvets getting washed nicely. Though. Okay, guys, we're on the shuffle rental to cool down. Literally, I was just cutting off um, the. Uh, look, you know, sorry about if you see that. Oh, there we are. First spin. Um, the standing knife I was using slipped off the drum, and it literally just went whack into the side of my hand, and it's literally like cut it real bad. I literally nearly fainted because I saw blood and I saw everything underneath. That'll be fine though. I'm just going to leave that machine alone now though. Well, not the machine, it's just, it's just the tub. Hopefully, we're going to chunk. That hurts. <laughs> That's what hell. Yeah, at least it's not. It's not. Oh, here we go. Watch this, guys. This is... Let's see what kind of size what we get. Yeah, <laughs> immediate cut out. A bag of chips. Didn't even give the machine a chance. What was that? Oh, the gate. Still performs the same she did on the day she came out. Well, the day she came to the video. She doesn't care, she's just going up. Ah, she seems quite stable on that as well. about. 
the first rinse, guys. <coughs> Low level. It's pretty much just enough of that, though. First time I've actually seen a duvet tumble inside this machine. That's supreme sensitive though, normally does actually rinse out quite well. Second intermediate spin. If everything all came rushing out of the drawer, but I don't think that'll happen. Here. You see, gets the machine gets into it a lot more quicker. Oh! I stop the machine actually. Machine will actually um, ramp up quick again. straight, none of that long tumbling business, just literally get straight into it. That's why I like when the machine does reduce the time, cuts everything down. There we go. Let's see. Look at that. That's how it should be done. No, no messing about, just get straight to speed. Oh, she's pretty stable in a way, sitting on that. On the washer. Sorry, spring loaded washer. This is spring. Second rinse. This will be a very short rinse as well. Probably about only about three minutes long probably. <coughs> it is just it is just an additional rinse that I add. There's a dog's barking in the background. Really Marnie. These are clean. Third intermediate spin. Balanced. 
and merely gives us our first piece of balancing trash, as we call it. What? Okay, the next one then. The next one will definitely do it. <laughs> Stable though. Once I immediately because I want us to do the fast ramp up. Oh god, my hand is pain so bad. It goes between stinging to actually being like proper pain. Shrugging standing off. I'll never use one of those in my face. Trying to take the old white paddle, paddles off the original tub, original drum to put on the, this one, but it ha it's held in by these rivets. So, oh, I don't care now. Okay. See it, there is a little bit of vibration there, it's not much though. Because the duvet loses all the water as it speeds up, it makes it a lot lighter. Final rinse, and that conditioner smells absolutely amazing. It smells sweet. First time I've actually seen a duvet get a real proper wash in a domestic washing machine. There you go. I like how the machine waits for a little bit. No. Oh. Little top up. Much tumbled all the air out of it. Spun all the air out as well. Then I hang up on the line in the warm evening sun. And that should be dry by tonight. It's amazing how fast things dry out though. some fun to spin. <clears throat> Probably get a nice water lock at the first burst. And get moving the mystery machine. On. Sounds like I'm talking about talking about Scooby Doo. <laughs> For six weeks. Six 
weeks after earning, after earning the, uh, the WD6 Y. The first one. So we miss out a burst on this one. Watch this water lock. This is a 600 RPM burst, and then we switch off and we do the final ramp up. Nicely balanced. Oh, if I also plug in the uh, Australian lead, I can test out the Hoover Electra on a spin. Okay, final ramp up. Everything in my thing with my bedding downstairs. Mm. Right. Been moving stuff around to get the mystery machine.
feel a bit of line scale breaking off. It's always a good thing to hear, actually. Take you within the hose block. Oh, I can't touch the blanket. Don't let the blanket fall off. Oh, that's good. It has got a good plane support on it. There you are, 10 years later. Still pulling 1300 with the same carbon brush as she came with. This is one thing. The carbon brushes in this they are last forever. I noticed that she's already got. I'd rather use the extension ones. I don't know. 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 <coughs> Still performs outstandingly. Even the condition's not too bad, it seems a little scrub there on the button, you see. Not apart from that. Still the same machine we have. You always will do. I love, the, I love the sculpted side panels on these. And there we go. She's trying to chug. She's not also chugging as fast as a meter would, but she's still chugging. Number one, where's that detergent ball gone, I wonder? That's actually nice and dry, in a way. Oh, it smells lovely. Right then, guys, so that concludes 10 year anniversary of or 10 years of owning this Mila W562. Pretty much a trouble free machine. Thoroughly impressed, and I'm glad I'm glad there's a lot of people that do love her on this channel. A nice clean duvet there. So, should we move back into a spot and we'll drag out the mystery machine? Be playing with that, even though I don't really know how that machine's programmed, so it'll be good to see. So, thank you, Millie, for everything. Uh, this is our, her last video for a while now. I'll let the mystery machine take over and we will do a test wash in that before I fully strip her out for the A3060. Hope you've enjoyed this guys and thank you to everyone who's um, you know been a fan of this machine since you know she was the first machine on this channel and what got me a part of the washing machine community. She loves being in the collection too even though they all probably fight over who's my favourite but anyway guys Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.